welcome everybody to World of Tanks subscriber replays. My name, as always, is Maxwell, and today's first video is from the user Razor Storm. That is Razor Storm, and he's driving the T-34 on a standard battle on Lakeville. T-34 being the T-8 5 medium tank for the Russians, not the T-8 T premium heavy tank for the Americans. Although this thing is a very, very nice machine. It's got decent speed and manoeuvrability, although the thing that really sets it apart is a pretty damn good cannon on it. doesn't have fantastic damage and penetration as well. The penetration is pretty good, but the alpha damage is a little bit lacklustre, but what really sets this cannon apart is its very, very quick reload speed. As you can see on the left-hand side there, that is 2.1 seconds per reload, which makes it pretty much as fast as an autoloader that never has to reload the canister. And although at lower tiers the cannons do tend to load pretty quickly on these tanks, when you start getting up to tier 5 you do start expecting those longer reloads, so something like this can really catch you off guard. One of the reasons why I really do like the Churchill Mark III, the cannon on that thing fires so quickly you can really catch people off guard and just hit them with sustained damage after damage after damage. So we're going to be heading into the city straight away here, you can see his platoon mate and the other type T-34 there in front. Just going to be pressuring this T-14. Got to be careful though, the armour on this T-14 makes it a pretty damn hard nut to crack sometimes. You can see his little bit of indecision there, couldn't decide which tank to shoot at. And instead shoots at none of them and he gets himself taken out pretty damn quickly there. So thanks to the very lightning quick push of the medium tanks here, the allied team has been able to take the centre of the town here. And just keep the enemy team pushed back. They have now got all of the advanced positions and the enemy team's going to have to be regrouping and having a think about what they want to do now. Although you can see this KV-220 making inroads down this road here and the armour of a KV-220 makes him very, very difficult to deal with unless you know exactly where to shoot at. You can see he thinks he's invulnerable. But Razor Storm there just gets a nice shot just to the right of the gun mantlet here and he's going to be putting sustained damage after damage after damage through that KV-220 until he gets taken out by the tanks who'd flanked around behind him there and gets taken out very, very quickly. Been a little bit too aggressive and a little bit too cocky in the KV-220 there. Now the allies are going to be pressuring this T-80. Gets a shot through the fence post to take him out and let's kill number one now. Just find an M7 on the right hand side, gets one good hit on him and he gets taken out by the M4 derp from the road. There is a Type T34 still on that northern road there, so you're going to have to try and work him down. Does start firing at his location, looks like the Type T34 wants none of this, so he starts to make a run for it, trying to get himself out of there. Uh, he does get behind a building and the angle of his armour means he's got to move forward a little bit just to get some damage on him. Does finally able to take him out and that's kill number two. Bounces a shot from the road there which is no doubt from this key knight. Going to move forward and try and take him out. The M4 probably has that derp cannon so he's probably going to be able to get a good chunk of damage on this key knight. Did try to predict the movement of the Kenai there, but just foiled by the cliff dive technique of the Kenai. Showing some very, very strong play here as he heads towards the lake there. Uh, very, very strong play from the Kenai there, getting all the way into the water. It's just a little bit unfortunate that he's going to drown there, as that was some excellent, excellent play from the Kenai. Getting himself into the water and just confounding the enemy team not being able to get a shot on him. So just scumbagging it up there. Does find an AFK Chihi. Only able to get a couple of shots on him before the M4 with his derp cannons able to take him out. Now they're going to be pressuring on the base and going for some of this artillery. Perhaps he can get himself a Scooch's medal if he is careful. The enemy team is starting a base capture now. Was the Chihi in there and a KV-1 somewhere around that location. Razor Storm's just going to be looking for the first piece of artillery. He does still have 100% hit points, so the artillery, even if it lands some shots, he is going to be able to take that one. As you can see, he just fully takes that shot from the Section 2 in the face, takes him out in return. Now he's just got to find the other two artillery pieces. They're probably going to be in this location somewhere. 
And there we go, finds both of them out here. And because there's nobody else in range here, the only person who can deny him this Pascucci's medal is himself. If he manages to get taken out by this M7 Priest. Doesn't want to go too far over the top of the hill here. Gets one good hit on him. The Priest fires a shot in return, but it's not enough. He takes him out. Kill number five and a lovely Pascucci's medal. So now it looks like this KV-1 is still pressuring the base, dueling with that M4 that dropped back from the road earlier. Looks like the Allied BDR is going to be going for a base capture here. And everybody else making tracks towards the base there. KV-1 on low hit points. But it looks like he is able to fend off many, many attackers. And this BDR going for a base capture just in case the Allies fail to reset this one. But with the hit points of the KV-1, it looks like Razor Storm's got a lovely shot on him, takes him out, kill number 6, and wins the game for his team. So absolutely awesome replay there from Razor Storm, picking up 6 kills and 2,000 points of damage. So don't forget to stick around, guys, because as always, the score screens in another game are coming right up. And our second replay of the day is from the user Sonic K. That is Sonic K, and he's driving the T29 on a standard battle on Pearl River. T29 being a tier 7 heavy tank for the Americans. It's uh, it's one of those tanks where you get your real, your first real taste of power. So this thing comes with a decent cannon. We can just take a quick look at that. 198 penetration and 320 alpha damage at tier 7 is pretty damn nice. It also has a absolutely fantastic, fantastic turret armor there. And the size of the gun mantlet as well pretty much just disables anybody from being able to fire at the front of the turret of this thing. And with its excellent gun depression, it's also able to go hull down in a variety of places. So this is just all round a fantastic tank. Sonic here going to be heading all the way to the right hand side here in the north and going to be heading over the bridge. Going to see who he can catch out. Is there anybody in the area? He does find an A43 medium tank. Going to see if there's anybody else in the area. It looks like it's just that A43 here. So just going to wait for him to maybe make a mistake. Does see a panther on the left hand side. Not really able to get a shot on that panther. Does aim for him. Oh, what a shot! did aim for the Panther, so the A43 popped his head out to get a shot onto him. Sonic K just turns his gun, says, nope, not today, son, and gets a ammo rack with his very first shot of the game. Fires at the Jagdpanzer IV. Another piece of amazing look there. Didn't really aim the shot, but able to set the Jagdpanzer IV on fire with that shot, and the Jagdpanzer just burns fully, and Sonic K just... Uh, it's going to go in with the execution, but I'm not sure what's happened with his reload here. I didn't see him fire, and he's still reloading for some reason. A little bit uh, unusual there. I probably just missed him shooting fire, perhaps, uh, or he switched ammunition by accident. But there we go. Takes out the Jagdpanzer IV as well. So that's two tanks. He's gone from 100% to zero. No problem whatsoever. There is a Wolverine on his right, but he's got a T-50, and what is that? Looks like an IS... Maybe. No, they don't have an IS on the team, but there is definitely somebody else there. Panther is currently firing down onto the spawn location of the Allies, trying to work down that VK-3601. His attention is fully focused on him now, so Sonic is able to get some good damage on him. For some reason, the Panther didn't turn and run. Thinks he can duel this one out. Did get a little bit of damage on the T-29, but the T-29 is going to have the better of this exchange, especially when he comes in for the Ram, takes him out, and that's kill number three. So Panther thinking he could probably get the best of that duel. Unfortunately, the T-29 was able just to hide while his longer reload went ahead. If the Panther had been in his face the whole time, then he may have been able to DPM him down. Panther probably should have just made tracks to get out of there rather than fighting that duel out. Comes for the KV-1S. He was technically a one-shot, but didn't get a high enough roll on that one. 
Uh, although he did still get a good roll, so we're not going to complain too much about that one. Hellcat focused fully on the IS. And uh, I was telling lies earlier, they did have an IS on the team. But he takes out the Hellcat as a matter of routine and picks up kill number four. He's now got to switch his attention to the centre of the map where the Allied team is getting pushed very, very heavily. Looks like most of the enemy team came through the centre of the road and through the little village there. And a few more tanks came to the south and there are pretty much no defenders left in that location. We've got an IS and a Comet and an AT-7 defending the base. From his position there, the AT-7 can probably withstand a bit of a beating with the shape of the terrain here. T-29 of Sonic K is going to have a lovely time because he can go hold down and use that gun depression to his advantage. Oh, very, very unlucky just to miss that T-34 there. Maybe rushed his shot just a little bit. But he really needs to help out the AT-7 here. Does bounce a shot from someone to his right-hand side. Not sure where that came from. Didn't bounce that one, though, from the Leopard. Does get a good hit on the T-34. Really got to help his AT-7 friend out. Because if his AT-7 turns around to put front armor on the T-34, he's going to get taken apart by the guys assaulting from the front there. He did manage to spin halfway around. And then Sonic K is able to take him out. Not quite reloaded in order to get that Leopard, but to be honest, the Leopard will have the penetration to get through his armour, but he doesn't have the alpha damage to really make much of an impact here. He's got that uh, auto, auto cannon there. Sonic K just moving forward to try and pressure him down. Finds the KV-1 here, much higher priority target. Gets a shot on him. Unfortunately, that one goes through his track only. The IS moving up the road to pressure the Leopard and anybody else who's coming that direction. Finds an IS-2. Very, very lucky not to get hit in the rear by the IS-2 now. And with the IS covering off the northern position, he can spin himself fully around to go and present all of his attention to this IS-2. And this IS-2 only had 250 hit points left, so he's going to be in trouble if Sonic is able to find him. And I think the IS-2 knows this and he's already started to retreat. Ah yes, holding the road ahead. Nope, here he comes. He comes back and just bounces a shot there, unfortunately. Sonic K going to take his time now. Didn't want to rush that shot. And it looks like the IS isn't able to back off far enough. Only able to get around this little corner here. Sonic K has his shot. Takes him out and kill number six now. Ah yes, still holding the road. That AT-7 is still alive, but he's now getting pressured quite heavily. And the Allied team have done a fantastic job of uh, evening this one up a little bit. It's still 8 kills to 11. It would be nice if they get a couple of quick kills and just make this one 8, uh, 10 to 11. That IS not really got the gun depression to be able to use that spot effectively. Whereas Sonic K is. Gets a lovely hit on the Black Prince there. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of a low roll. Just keeping his eye on the Leopard. And it looks like there's a Tiger 1 making inroads in that location. KV1 only got hit. 8 hit points left. So he gets taken out no problem whatsoever. Now he's going to spin around and try and pay some attention to the Tiger and the Leopard. Making a move on that road there. I think they thought that they could maybe come and get that IS and it'll be quite a quick, easy kill. But the IS has dropped down off the road now. I think that Comet might be AFK, actually, because he's just been sat in the same location for the whole fight. Tried to get a shot on the Tiger rather than the Leopard, but the Tiger was just backing off there and landed the shot on the Leopard anyway. I think that Tiger's realised that he can't really duel it out with a half-health T... 29. Gets a great hit on that Black Prince to take him out. And I think this Tiger is starting to regret his decision of coming up on this road. Especially when he finds out that the T-29 of Sonic K is just going to be pressuring him and going all out to try and take this Tiger 1 out. So if that Tiger 1 can fall back and relocate into a hidden position, the DPM of that cannon might be able to come into effect and he might be able to do some work. Not only is the scoreline evened out now, but the Allied team is winning 12 kills to 11. Not really sure which direction the Tiger is going to be taken. Probably going to be going this way here. Makes an educated guess as to where maybe the Tiger 1 might be. And even if the Tiger 1 isn't in this location, he should still be able to get shots on the AT-2 and this IS. Although Sonic is having a great game, this game is not all this game's not all sewn up yet. It is still 13 kills to 12, and I think that Comet is AFK. But they do have an AT-2 and an IS. The AT-2, 300 and some hit points. So maybe able to take him out with a single shot. Just got to let his radical close in. Takes his shot. Gets the kill. 
and that's kill number 11. Was using premium rounds there, but let's face it, the AT2 is a tough nut to crack, and this is carry situation, considering the IS has only 300 hit points left, and that Comet is pretty much useless. Oh, Comet starts to move now. Not really sure what he's been doing over there this whole time. Maybe he's been off getting a sandwich. And the IS is also in a stupid position. Not really sure what he's doing all the way over there. Should have been pressuring with his allies. Gets a good hit on him. They get a lovely bit of damage. Gonna see if he can take him out and make this 12 kills, which would be absolutely amazing. Not that 11 kills isn't amazing. Sonic K's got an IS and a Comet for support. But it looks like the Comet may be too far away to offer any real support here, unless he comes around the side there. Sonic K just going to be pressuring him down. think the IS is AFK, maybe, because his gun's just fixed in one location. Takes a big hit from the other IS. Going to see if Sonic K can land the final hit to get kill number 12. Indeed he can. That is GG and the victory. So absolutely awesome. Awesome game there from Sonic K. Picking himself up 12 kills, 5,000 points of damage, and really carrying his lackluster team to victory there. So awesome replay from you. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Don't forget, guys, if you've got yourself a good replay, then please send that into replay at screenreality.com. The link for that is in the description. You can just attach the replay file to the email or send me the link to the What Replay website, and uh, I can take a look at that one for you. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, informative, you learned something, or you just enjoyed it, then think about hitting that subscribe button, because there's a lot more World of Tanks content on this channel. I have been Maxwell, this has been World of Tanks, and I will catch you guys next time.